In Skyblock, we are approaching our 11th months without dungeons, but the game has come a long way since release and the many new updates have created a series of endgame items that many players strive for. Unfortunately, all the other YouTubers are too busy complaining about the lack of dungeons and making 10 minute videos about that to actually bother reviewing these items. So we abused our YouTuber privilege to get a hold of these items from our friends and fans and test it to see if all of these late game items are worth it. And also, 83.6% of my viewers aren't even subscribed. So if you're watching this, could you please subscribe if you haven't already? And also turn on notifications. Starting with the least expensive, large storages have become somewhat of a luxury as many late game players don't bother with them and probably don't even know a storage tier above medium exists. This is a late game video, so I'm just going to assume everyone has super compactors and given that the storages and super compactors are the same price, I do not see any reason to use large storages as the minions will not fill for a few days no matter what type they are. The only exception to this rule I have found is tarantula minions as the large variety of drops they produce, especially with diamond spreading, can fill them up in one day if you log in at the wrong time. Level 6 enchants can only be acquired through dark auction or rare event drops and provide that little bit of extra damage approximately 16% more as you can see with this comparison between an aspect of the dragons with a level 5 versus level 6. A book full of these will set you back around 30 million coins and I do not recommend applying this to any weapon except for a Midas or an aspect of the dragons if you have a dragon pet. The epic dragon pet buffs your aspect of the dragons to the point where it passes a Midas at around level 80. The buffs the pet provides are very nice but I personally do not believe it is worth it as a tiger or lion will prove to be much more useful in dungeons, especially with a party. And to prove this, well, I have no way to prove it, but you're going to have to take my word for it. The tiny improvement over Amidas is very small in comparison to the 195% damage the lion can deal and the 20% increase to DPS offered by the tiger. I would avoid this one. The Uwu Flux Orb is a direct upgrade to the Mana Flux in a sense that it offers 0.5% more healing, 15 more strength, twice the duration and double the mana regeneration. A simple bit of math shows that using this orb will gain you back all the mana that it cost you and still hang around after placing it, effectively keeping it up forever and buffing all nearby players forever. At least one person on your dungeon squad should have this item. The legendary blaze pet and the fro- No! The Emerald Blade, as previously mentioned, overtakes a Drag Pet AOTD at around 400 million coins and is kinda cool to have as it gives you the freedom of choosing another pet, but some people have pointed out in the Dungeons League that there does not appear to be any purse, so maybe the sword will become useless. Carrying the risk of losing 200 million coins at any given time is also the major downside of this weapon. Tuxedo armor makes you a little squishy and despite the immense damage you can output, probably won't be of any use in dungeons. A legendary phoenix serves little use right now as using it with an emerald blade makes it worse than an AUTD and the pet's ability are kinda pointless for the current game. But in dungeons, the TPS ability of this pet is actually quite effective, outputting upwards of 40,000 damage per second to every enemy you hit multiple times, unlike the fucking stupid guardian that does it once every 3 seconds. The Undying Perk may also allow a tank to fully heal upon death from lifesteal, effectively granting them a second health bar and doubling their effective HP. This is definitely a pet to have your eyes on. And of course, it wouldn't be an endgame review without mentioning the legendary Ender Dragon. This beast has all the positivities of an epic variant, but the added perk of amplifying everything you have by 10% further. This includes your defense and HP, crit damage, crit chance, true defense, magic find, strength, intelligence, and swag stats. Is this pet better than a tiger or lion? It is difficult to say. I would be tempted to say yes as it makes you a versatile fighter, almost like a paladin, as you can take more and output more damage, but the tiger pet's ability would give it a much greater advantage against bosses and potentially even dragons. But this may be a topic for another video as my bank account is already running dry and I really can't afford to do any dreads. Wait, is that... Protector Dragon Baby! Do I have to voice all of this? Eee, 
Pretty Boy, I fucking hate you. Eee. <laughs>